Okay, so in this video, we'll try to complete our example. So in our example, actually, we have made this guy so far. We have made this guy as well, and we have made this guy as well, right? We need to create one more controller here called sys controller, and we need to map it uh, with a URL pattern called slash makeup. Okay, and apart from this thing, I'll be showing you a lot of new techniques here right now. Okay, now let me go back to my STS. So right now here, I have two controller. One is bro controller, one is mom controller. Now I need to create a new controller here called sys controller, just like we have seen in the diagram, sys controller. And in this controller, if it is a controller, first I need to mark it with a at controller annotation. Okay, let me maximize this particular file. And right here, I'm going to create a method here, public string uh, get makeup kit. Okay, so what is this you doing here? Okay, cool. Now I need to return here something a string. Uh, let's say, uh, just just take my makeup kit okay this is your sis saying no problem okay so <laughs> request mapping so we need to map it with a URL so what was the URL there in the picture so the URL was plus makeup okay so let me go to my STS again and let me give this url pattern as class make up okay so guys right now i'll tell you one thing as of now whatever the controllers that we have created we have created a bro controller okay we have created this particular method we have created a mom controller it has one particular method and right now we're creating sys controller i'll tell you one thing we can create as many method as we want inside one particular controller that is no such limitation okay so right now what i'll do here to this particular method i'll give it an annotation called at response body at response body and here actually i'm going to create a, another method okay so let me create a public uh, let's say public not for it public string now let's say um, get books okay and in this particular method i want to this particular method i want to map it with a url pattern called uh, slash um, slash books let's say slash slash book and let's say return uh, we'll return something let's say math book okay and we want to print this math book to the HTTP response so I will write at response body okay so now this this controller has two different method right two different handler method this particular method will handle whenever any request come ending with slash makeup and this particular method will be executed whenever this particular pattern will match slash book okay so now let's test this out let me go to my first MBC project let me run this particular application let me do run on server let me deploy it and let me do restart server so now let's see what is going to happen so my server has started now i'll write here home.com slash books uh, i think the url was book if i'm hitting book it is it is saying me math book right and if i am saying uh, what was that another url there uh, the url pattern was slash makeup if i'm going here and if i'm hitting slash make up then just take up my makeup kit okay the way girl says just take it okay and the way your sister says is also you know i just want to explain it over here I'll just uh, she'll just throw it to your face just take it okay <laughs> okay so right now i think it is clear that one particular controller just like this sys controller can have multiple handler methods right it can handle multiple incoming url request or multiple incoming http request whatever you say it okay cool so right now guys i'll, I'll tell you one more thing this request mapping 
right? Right now we are using the request mapping in method level. If we want, we can also use the request mapping in class level. For an example, I will use a request mapping tag here at request mapping, okay? And here only I'll just, uh, I'll map it with a URL. Let's say it's class sister, S-I-S. Let's say it's class sys, okay? I'll save it, okay? So I don't need to restart my server again and again. It will happen automatically. See, I, I made some changes, right? Right now it is tried reloading the context and it is completed here, right? Whatever the changes I made, it is automatically deployed to the, um, deployed to the uh, server, right? For an example, I'm making some domain changes here. I'll just put a sys out here, sys out here. And I'll say, uh, this is uh, get a book, uh, let's say this is get books method, get books method, okay? Now you see, I'll do control save, I'll do control s. Now you watch it, I don't want to restart my server again. Automatically, whatever my changes I have done, it will be automatically deployed to my server. See, it is automatically started. It is saying right now, uh, info reloading context with this, my first MBC project, this, this project has been reloaded and refreshed and been deployed to my Tomcat again. So now I can see my changes, right? So what I can do right now, I can directly go to my browser and here, if I, if I, right now, if I do home.com slash makeup, this is not going to work. You can see it is saying no mapping to this particular URL, right? So right now, in order to execute this particular URL, I need to come from the top, right? What is my class level mapping first? My class level mapping is slash sys. Then I can write slash sys slash makeup. Then only this particular method will be get executed. Okay. So if I'll go here to my web browser again, so Eclipse has an inbuilt browser, that is fine. So if I'll do my first MBC project slash home.com slash makeup, nothing is coming as you can see. But right now, if I'll do slash sys, which is my class level mapping, then I'll do slash makeup. Now this should work. Now you see, just take up my just take my makeup kit. This is working fine. And also, what what was the other method that we had? This this is the another method we have written, and it is map with slash book. Now you tell me if I want to execute this particular method. Okay, then what URL I need to hit in my browser? So what is my class label URL first? Slash this. Then slash this slash book. Okay. Let me come over here. Let me do a slash sys. After my slash sys only, I'll do slash book. Enter. It is saying math book. And it is also logging something in the console. This is get books, right? Because we have written this, right? We have written this sys out here. This is get books. Okay, this sys out means we are printing in the console. So that's why it is printed this particular line in the console, right? Cool. I hope this is clear right now.